Hi guys! In today's video we'll be making this Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's inspired doll. Since this is an inspired project, this is my take on the character, kind of like fan art. I did a gender bender again and turned it into a female character and also filled in the gaps in the outfit since Foxy in the games only has his pants, his hook and his eye patch. So I filled it in and make an entire pirate outfit. And I also gave her long hair to make it more feminine. Obviously, if you make a doll by yourself, you can make it as literal to the character as you want to. I used this second-hand Monster High Claudine doll as the base for this project, since I thought she was the closest thing we could get to a fox. I started by removing the hair and the ears, since they didn't really match the character. Use acetone or nail polish remover to remove the face, then prime it with the Mr. Super Clear spray. For the new face, I used a few shades of watercolor pencils, a few shades of chalk pastel, and a bit of acrylic paint for opacity. To start off with, I use my black pencil to sketch the shape of the eyes. Foxy seems to have quite a low hanging lid or slightly droopy eye, so I wanted the eyes to be very, very, you know, half closed and kind of villainous looking. And I drew on both eyes all the way through, even though he wears an eye patch, because once he flips it up in the game, it actually shows that he has both eyes. So I did both of them. I chose to plug in the colors of the eyes using watered down acrylic paint to keep my layers of pencil down. I used chalk pastel to shade the eyelids, the creases, the cheeks, temples and also the lips using chalk pastel in quite reddish brown tones to bring more red into the character's skin. Seal in the first layer with the spray and then start working on top. I like to shade the eye whites because otherwise I think the white paint just really stands out too much. Build up the same steps as in the first layer to get more opacity. I draw on small freckles over the nose to represent the spots that Foxy has on his nose where his whiskers used to be. Once you're happy with the face, seal it in a final time. Then I use polymer clay to sculpt the ears, bake them and then painted them with acrylic paint.
With hair, I use some dark red acrylic yarn, which I brushed out, straightened and then curled. And then I glued this onto the head. I remembered to have three short strands on top of her head like the real Foxy has. I added on some doll eyelashes, glazed the eyes and then made a eye patch using some cardstock and a bit of ribbon. For the hook I rolled it out a pointed snake of polymer clay, cut it to size, baked it and then glued it onto a piece of cardstock and painted it silver. Now onto the clothes. For her shirt I made this white pattern which is essentially just going to be a white tube to start with. Cut out the front and back pieces in some white canvas fabric and sew the two together right side together. Now I can check that it's big enough to go on the doll. Hem the bottom edge before getting out some thin elastic and sewing this while stretching it onto the top edge. And that's the base part of the shirt done. Next you want to take your pieces for the sleeves and sew on two stretched pieces of elastics, one on the top and one in the middle before sewing the sleeve together. Sew the sleeves onto the side of the shirt and it's done. For the pants I used the kitchen film and tape method to get an idea of the shape. Once cut out, trace the pieces onto paper adding seam allowance and any corrections you need. I chose to make both pant legs go straight down rather than having them form fitted. Cut out your pieces in fabric and start by sewing the dart on the back part. Then sew the front and back piece together by the outer seam. Make the other side the same way, place the two together and sew together the curves. Lay the pants flat and sew together the pant legs. All you have to do is hem the top and bottom edges and the pants are done. Lay the pants flat and sew together the pant legs. Now all you have to do is hem the top and bottom edges and the pants are done. Finally we're going to make a pattern for the little corset. Sew the pieces together and hem the edges. Then you want to thread the two together in a crisscross pattern in the front. Close it around the doll with a piece of velcro and tighten it. And then you're ready to put everything together. And here's the finished doll. I was pretty excited about this project because I've never made a pirate before. As I said in the beginning, this was just inspired by Foxy and I took some liberties in the process in order to make it more of a living character and filling out the blanks of the outfit. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this project, thank you for watching, hit the like button if you did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in a new video real soon. Bye!